What's going on gamers? It's D Werewolf Gaming here back with another Remnant 2 video. Alright guys, so you know the new content is out. Uh, a lot of changes were made. So guys, I'm going back and I'm making changes, trying out new builds, and I'm finally trying out the Grave Lord build guys using the uh, minions, or to be more precise, using the Summoner class with the Richness class as my primary. So guys, this build today, you know, it's, it's definitely it's an explosive build. And as you can see, guys, I am wrecking these guys on Apocalypse. I've already uh, killed a couple of bosses pretty quick. I wanted to show you that intro. I'll show you how powerful this build is. Now, throughout my gameplay, guys, different bosses, I will use different relics. And uh, change uh, Amulet and the Ring out because in certain bosses, I do prefer to use the Misty Step. Makes it a lot easier, especially these bosses who can jump halfway across the map like the Abomination. This guy can literally jump halfway across the map and land on top of you. If you're not paying attention or you can't see, because sometimes all that smoke and fume be all in, in, in the way, so you can't really see it. So that being said, the only thing I did change out on the, on those fights that I am using the Misty Step is uh, I, I will lose a little bit of damage because I am using the Ring of Omens. And uh, the amulet that I did choose was the Talisman of the Sun. But besides that, guys, when I do go over the build breakdown, the other amulet that I will be using, I will be using it the entire time throughout my gameplay. All right, so I hope you're enjoying the content, guys. I'm going to let you finish watching the rest of these boss fights, and then we will go over the build breakdown at the end. One other thing, guys, is we are finally at 4K su subscribers. I want to give a big thank you to everyone who has been supporting me, those who are new to the channel and those who have been there since day one, guys. It really means a lot. I really appreciate it, and thank you. Uh as well all right i'll let you watch the rest of the gameplay and we will go over this video at the, the build breakdown at the end
All right, guys, so I hope that was enough gameplay for you to see just how good this build is. Uh, and I did intentionally equip and use the Fargazer mod. Guys, I wanted to see how good this mod still performed using the Richless class. And like I said, uh, it still works pretty good. As you've seen in the video, I was able to kill uh, a good bit of these bosses pretty quickly. And uh, a lot of, you know, like I said before in plenty of other videos, you know, a lot of it as far as killing these bosses coming to is understanding the mechanics of these boss fights. But with that being said, guys, I do recommend you using the Grave Lord Bill. It's very fun to use right now, especially with that increase into the, with the explosive damage that you can do now on this, uh, using the particular class. Because you can see, guys, I didn't even use my summoner, my minions that much throughout my videos because you even without the minions being out, you still get the benefits of using that class, the 35% explosive damage. So that's just amazing. All right, so I will let you finish watching the rest of this, this gameplay, and then we will go over the build breakdown in a few minutes. And as you, I do want to point out, as you can see, guys, this is an elemental explosive build. That's what I want to. And with that being said, the, the boss I'm fighting Annihilation, as you can see, he does have elemental resistance, but it's still killing him pretty quickly. All right, so let's go over this build. All right, so the name of the class is called Vile Grave Lord, and the prime perk is called Vile. Negative status effects applied by ritualists inflict infected infected victims receive 15% more status effect damage. On death, spreads all status effects to nearby enemies within 19.5 meters. All right, since this was an explosive build, I went with eruption as my skill. It creates a 19.5 meter explosion for 379.5 damage on all enemies within 1.3 meters. The explosion radius and damage increases 100% for each unique status effect on the target. It refreshes, and it also refreshes all current status effects on the target. All right, the first trait is called Purge on Relic Use. Cleans all negative status effects. Negative status effects cleans by purge are applied to enemies within 7.5 meters. You get dark blood. Reduces damage received from negative status effects by 25% and reduces blight buildup by 50%. All right, you also get terrify. Killing an enemy with, within, uh, applies terrify to all enemies within 5 meters of killing an entity for 20 seconds. Terrifying enemies are more likely to drop ammo. And you get Wrath. Increases all damage to enemies affected by negative status effects by 20% and increases a critical ch critical chance by 10%. All right, with the summoner class was my secondary. And guys, it didn't matter which mean you chose. I did go with the Reaver, but as you see, I didn't even use them that much. The perks in this class are Dominator. Grants the 35% increase to mod and skill and explosive damage and 5% mod and skill and explosive critical chance. So just amazing now what they've done to this class. You get reside means that aspire leave a three meter R which heals 2.5% health per second and increases its healing by 20% and this lasts for 10 seconds. Now the max perk is called outrage. Sacrifice grants 3% life steal for each mean. Sacrifice and increases movement speed by 15% and this lasts for 10 seconds. And you get insight using the relic grants means 5% max health per second and increases their damage dealt by 15% and critical chance by 15%. And this lasts for 30 seconds. All right, your armor didn't really matter, guys, whatever your armor you prefer. The two relics I was using was the Train Core Heart and the Shielder Heart. And the Shielder Heart gives you 100% health. Uh, a shield for 100% health lasts for 20 seconds until shield, shield is damaged. I went with Mythic Mod damage. Um, 20% critical damage, but you can, you could have just used health there to get more survivability if you prefer. I was going back and forth with that, and I did have plus 10% elemental damage on this when I was using these relics. All right, so I was using the Spark Fire Shotgun. You do get this in the in the DLC. And basically, guys, I paired it with the Fargazer of Mod. And for those who don't know, guys, it applies fire when you do shoot those pellets. And what the Fargazer of Mod does, the longer you're aiming down sights at the target, guys, it builds up stacks of damage. You get a max of 10 stacks, and, and each stack is 15.8 damage per second, guys. Just amazing for uh, chewing up bosses pretty quickly. I did use Twisted Rounds to apply another status effect. And as you can see, guys, at level 10, it applies bleeding, dealing 1,380 bleed damage over 20 seconds. Guys, I'm playing on Apocalypse. You want to use that some sort of status effect to keep some sort of damage on these bosses. 
All right, so I was going back and forth between the Hunter Spear and the Crow Axe. And with well, the Hunter Spear Axe, just like the Crow Axe got you through it and returns back to your hand. Uh, but I did pair it with the Stormbringer's uh, mod to increase the status effect damage by 50%, applied by melee attacks by 50%, and it lowers the the, peop, the bosses or whoever you're fighting resistance by 10%. And that lasts for 10 seconds. All right, I did use the Star Shot as my handgun. And guys, what it does is it fires fast moving projectiles which explode on impact then. And it has no fall off as far as when you shoot those pellets. All right, and guys, what you what it does is basically it shoots one big bang. And then when it does, it applies burning damage and explodes explosion as well. And I decided to use fatigue wounds on this build as well, guys, to apply another sort of status effect because this is a status effect slash Elum, Elum, uh, explosive build. And so, you know, that was my biggest goal was to apply as much status effect as I could. For the rings, I went with Burden of the Destroyer and to increase all damage by 15%, but you do lose ideal range by 25%. I went with Explosive Blasting Cap to increase explosive damage by 10%. Uh, ring of the Burden of the Socialist basically reduces ammo reserve by 25%, but you, percent, but you get increased mod and skill damage by 15%. And I went with the uh, Lumina Ring, guys, and it increases all elemental damage dealt by 10%. All right, so I was using the Detonation Trigger for my amulet, and it increases explosive damage by 25%. And it also applies a burning of 1,255.5 burning damage over 10 seconds. And remember, guys, when I was using the Misty Step, I did switch out and I did use the Talisman of the Sun. And also, you could use the Energizing Neck Coil because what that does is it increases status effect by 25%, and it creates a 5 meter explosion for 20% of the status effect full damage. I tried both of those out, and they both work pretty good on this build. So use whichever one you prefer. And when I was using the Misty, Misty Step, I do want to point out that I was using the Talisman of the Sun, which increases your fire damage. All right, the traits on this build. Oh, guess look at the weapon stats first. All right, I did have critical damage of 50%, bonus damage of everything 15%, 20% elemental damage, 60% mod damage, 15 50% skill damage, mod crit chance 5%, skill crit chance 5%, and 100% status effect duration. And that comes automatically on the richest class guy. Uh, 10 points in regrowth comes automatically on summoner. 10 points in triage guys. 10 points in fortify. I did put a couple of six points in ammo reserve. And uh, four points in flash caster so I can use my skills and mods quicker or well, faster. Got three points in swiftness to increase all movement speed by 3%. I did put two points in the long shot. I got 10 points in vigor, increase my health. I got 10 points in spirit, increase mod generation. 10 points in bark skin, reduce damage by 10%. Got 10 points in siphoner, so get a little bit of life steal back. I got six points in aptitude, guys, because I wanted to spread as much status effect as I could. And I got four points in expertise, so to reduce the amount of time it takes to get my skill points back. All right, guys, so I hope you like the build. If you do, I definitely recommend you give it a try. And if you do like the build, thank, uh, guys, uh, remember to hit that like button, share, and subscribe. Thank you for your support. The Werewolf out.